The two Voyager probes imaged the northern face of the small moon and missed the geysers which are almost entirely concentrated near its south pole. However, the fact that Enceladus was embedded in the densest part of the E-ring led many to conclude that the ring was a product of material vented from the moon. Few could have imagined, however, that this material would be ideal for life as we know it. The water coming out of Enceladus's geysers isn't just full of organic compounds and silica sand and simple hydrocarbons. Perhaps most importantly, it's warm, full of thermal energy. The source of this energy is not fully known, since tidal heating can only account for some 10% of it, if that. Enceladus is very, very small, with a diameter of just 313 miles, or just over 500 kilometers. Its tiny size and gravity rules out the possibility of a molten core, or the presence of heavy, radioactive elements deep within. These may have been a factor during its initial formation, but the mystery remains. How has it maintained its heat energy for so long?